let's understand callable and future in java normally when we work with threads in java we use runnable the problem with runnable is that it cannot return any result that's where callable comes in callable is just like runnable but it can return a value and also throw exceptions in this example i have created a class food court which basically implements this callable it has a call method which we have to override whenever we submit this callable to execute a service the call method gets executed and whatever we return from it that becomes the result so currently we are returning a string so this is the result that we are expecting to collect but then how do we actually collect that result right that's where future comes into play whenever we submit a task to execute a service it gives us back a future object we can notice here this executor uh, dot submit it is basically returning a future now let's try to understand the code flow here i am using executors uh, dot new single thread executor this simply creates a single worker thread we can submit as many tasks as we want and they will run one by one now we created the instance of this callable object and that is something what we have submitted to the executor service and we already know that this executor dot submit basically returns a future so we are collecting the future now when we call this future dot get it waits until the task is finished uh, and then gives us the result so this future dot get is actually blocking in nature that means the main thread will pause and won't go to the next line until the uh, result is ready okay so when we run this particular code we notice that food order basically this particular line got executed okay now food is ready that is something what it returned once this food is ready is printed then only we actually enter to the next line which is this waiting okay so that's how things works this blocking nature is disadvantage of future and in next video we'll see how we can avoid that